Hey guys, it's Santi. Alright, so tonight's radio is about suicide in Japan. I know it's a heavy topic. Anyway, I want to share how I think about this. But before that, let me share you one comment I got from my subscriber. It's from Cassie. Thank you, Cassie. And she said, um, I looked up and uh, it's re regrettable how Mira Haruma died. Okay, Mira Haruma is an uh, actor who committed suicide uh, three months ago. It seems there has been a uh, strings of Japanese celebrity suicide this year. Yes. Would you share your opinion about that? Or maybe your, your thoughts about suicide in Japan, society in general? Thank you, Cassie. Okay, so as she said, as she mentioned that, there are some celebrities who committed suicide this year. And they are very famous one. Mm. Popular one. Good looking people. And famous. Successful. You know, so we wonder why they commit suicide, you know. However, to be honest though, like uh, the ratio about commit suicide, as far as I remember that every 20 minutes in Japan, someone commits suicide somewhere, every 20 minutes. So if you watch my video twice, you know, each video about 10 minutes, right? Then someone died. <laughs> That's a, you know, like a f statistics. Therefore, one of them could be celebrity. But usually the celebrity has a far better life, right, compared to others. Therefore, and then they feel self-esteem, right, because, you know, everyone look at them and they, uh, they feel successful, right, because there are many people who can be successful like them. Therefore, there are lower rates, I think, who committed suicide. But um, this year, two famous ones, they did. So I was like, uh, maybe if we think about stats, it could be possible. But like she asked me about um, in general, uh, Japanese society. It is definitely a problem. So let me share how I think about this. And first of all, why it's happening mm. and how can we change it, right? Um, the first of all, the reason why in Japan there are so many commit suicide. Is th I think there are many factors, okay? Many factors, including like external factors, internal factors. And if it's external factors, it could be like, uh, you know, society, like economy is bad or politi uh, politics going bad, whatever, many things, right? However, the, one of the main reasons why there are many commit suicide in Japan is definitely the public eye. You know, in this channel, I keep telling you guys about the public eye. It is a very essential part of Japanese culture. At the same time, sometimes it go backfire. Seriously. It just uh, choke people too. Maibo, stop. Sorry. Yeah, he likes bone. Okay. So, um, so what happened is... If you, okay, but if you don't know public eye, watch this video, I explain that, I guess. Anyway, recap, okay? So public eye is like how you're seen in public, you know? So you always care about how they see you in public, you know? In public means outside of your house, okay? Therefore, they always have the, some mentality that I have to be a good person. I have to be in the right, right person, you know? In most of the countries, you know, overseas, not Japan, they rely on that kind of mentality when they are learning or when they're believing some religion, I think. Because, let's say, Jesus says, or Quran, Allah, Allah says, you know what I mean? So uh, they be believe in some like a Jesus Christ or God says, God watching you. It's just like this. However, in Japan, it doesn't go like that. we more like a self, you know, self, how do you call Just self-management, I guess. You know, we just have that kind of mentality. I don't let me let myself do this because it's shameful. It's shame. Because if I do this kind of things outside, everyone look at me and badly, and then uh, I lose my face, it's not good. Therefore, I don't want to do it. This kind of thing, you know. So uh, they're very strict to themselves. So there's sometimes there's no space that to embrace who they are, who you are, you know what I mean? Because they care about public eye, and they care about how you see yourself too, you know what I mean? I know it's kind of complicated. Therefore, like, um, let's say, Let's say you have friends, okay, who make $60,000 a year, which is good money in Japan, by the way. Okay, let's say you are 30 years old, $60,000, eh, it's about 3% uh, of people making that much money. Anyway, so uh, let's say there are people around you, and let's say you make uh, $40,000. You might care that, you know, we have a similar kind of background, but uh, he makes uh, 20k more than that. You know why I think I'm doing better than him, whatever. He cared a lot. Of course, overseas, 
you guys care same thing, right? If you feel the same way, like, oh, why he promotes faster than I do because da 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 da. But in Japan, I think they care a bit more and they take seriously and they start blaming themselves because I'm not good. I have to be better, like this. In many cases, you can see this kind of tendency. They start blaming themselves, self condemn, I say. That, that's why they brush up many things, you know, by themselves, you know, to make it better. Therefore, sometimes this uh, mindset comes out in a nice way. For example, about car. Who made a car? Ford, right? And the Ford, one of the best car company before. What about now? No. What about Toyota right now? It's good, right? Because Toyota people, or Japanese people, that's a good example, right? When they have something, okay, I have a car right now, I have to make this better. Why it's not good? Because this, this, this. You know, they start always questioning, how can we make it better? Because I'm not good, so I have to train this skill. I have to know this idea, knowledge. So they always try to brush up. Therefore, there are many mastery people in Japan, you know, professionals in certain uh, industry who make, a, let's say, chawan, like a bowl, Japanese chawan, or like a, who makes some artist. They're very keen on one point because they always brush up themselves because they always have a, the mindset it's not good because I'm, I'm not that good yet. That kind of mentality, right? They don't really go to the others because he is bad. That's why I'm fine. I'm great because, but I'm not get a, you know, appraisal because of him. I, they don't go like this way. They're more like a towards to inwards, you know what I mean? So um, when it comes to like a manufacturing or like creating new things, yes, it turns out sometimes really nice, right? Like, so you can be a professional, outstanding. However, when it comes to badly, you know, you start blaming yourself and then there is no way out. It's like a, you are in a corner, but you should keep pushing yourself to the corner. You, if you are strong enough, you can break the wall and you can run away, but you know what I mean? If you keep pushing yourself to the corner, what's going to happen? You're going to choke, right? So that's one of the aspects, like uh, how public eye influencing our mentality and then so how Japanese people are sometimes go backfire. You know what I mean? I'm okay. To be honest, I'm not sure that if you understand what, what I'm talking about right now, but I hope you do. Anyway, that's one of the reasons, I guess. So, um, what is the best way? And maybe, yeah, maybe some space that to be, you know, to relax. I think sometimes, maybe I'm. I think I'm kind of good amount of people. I mean, I, like a status, you know, because. Sometimes I, I'm strong enough to say, fuck off, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I, I say that, you know, if, let's say, for example, let's say my senior and then uh, he asked me out for drinks, let's say, okay, in a company. If you say, hey, uh, Santi, let's go for drinks uh, tonight, everyone, all team member goes, you want to come? I will say, nah, man, I got to go to my gym. I got to, you know, work out. He's like, come on, man, let's skip a gym. Let's go tomorrow. Come on, go tomorrow. Hey, come on, it's fine, drinks. I like, no, I can't. Sorry, man. Like this kind of communication, okay? He's like, oh, damn, man, you're a party pooper. Shh. Okay, go gym. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, fuck it. Who cares? But, but I can say, I can think like this, but if it's happened in typical Japanese case, you know, they really care. They really care about how you are seen in the situations. Oh my God, if I say no to him, what's going to happen? Maybe he will tell to people and he, they, they will notice that, oh, why, where, where is Santi? And he didn't come. And maybe boss will mention about my gym things. And then they think that I, I love myself because uh, I care about my gym more than them. So they think that they, I'm, you know what I mean? So they go deeper. In a second, they think that much. <sighs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it's too much. Therefore, they're like, oh, oh, oh you know what? Uh, you know? So they don't really say it, honestly. But they, uh, but in Japanese culture, though, is Japanese culture, if he's a nice boss, when you're hearing that, uh, you know, mm, that's way enough that, you know, he doesn't want to go. Then, if he's a nice boss, he'll say, oh, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe, I don't know. Should we go tonight or maybe, maybe next time? I don't know. You know, he can say, like, like this, just uh, make it like a uh, fuzzy, you know what I mean? Not clear. He doesn't, he doesn't want to say, okay, you don't want to come. You don't want to say that. And then he doesn't want to say, okay, don't worry, next time you come. You don't want to say that, you know? You can say, ah, oh, you know what, mm, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, i let you know, right? Just uh, make it unclear. So he'll be like, yeah, 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 done. That's the typical Japanese people, you know what I mean? So... Yes, if your boss, if your surroundings are like that kind of person, you know, 
let you go without saying clearly, then the person who didn't want to go to, let's say, the drinkings, he doesn't have to blame himself, I think. So, you know what I mean? So uh, that's one of the examples that uh, how public eye, how you are seen, you know, in public, sometimes go against you and then you start blaming yourself and you feel embarrassment and what shame, you know, that you are doing something against them, you know what I mean? So that's what I think about suicide rate. So, and also about suicide, I think it's common in, in the world. When they, have, when they commit suicide, I guess, because I'm never in a spot, but I guess when they feel hopeless, there is no way out. I can't do anything. I want to be better, but I can't do. Like this, you know, when they feel like a stuck. They believe that they are stuck, you know what I mean? Then they do something. Because uh, I read some articles or whatever, before they committed suicide, they are actually fine. They're like talking on, on the phone with mom, or like um, she, she was working per, uh, nicely yesterday, but suddenly next morning he died like this. So people, uh, they can work, uh, communicate normally, but when they believe in, and then maybe they are tired, and they are listening like a sad song, whatever, or someone told them really bad thing to them, then they go, fuck it. <clears throat> You know what I mean? So that's happening. So uh, definitely that uh, they should have some protection, you know. The other example is this. Uh, in Japan though, like, uh, you know, life protection? Payments. Okay, in Japan, the Japanese government actually give payment for the someone who need money for life. Protect their life. We call sekatsuhogo. Sekatsuhogo uh, literally means uh, life protection, money. So let's say you have no job, you have no capability to do anything, and you have no mom, no asset, no debt, whatever. You're very qualified to receive money from the government. It's about $1,200, I think, I think. Anyway, it's way enough, right, to live by yourself. If you have a house, rent, for example, $300, $400, somewhere else in the countryside, and then you make, what, $300 for, you know, for food, and you can even save money too. But meanwhile, you can just rebuild your life, you know what I mean? get your shit together, and then start doing new life, right? So uh, government actually give you the space and then also time and money to support them. However, as far as I read some articles, most of people who are qualified, they don't take the money. You know why? You know, right? Public eye. <laughs> Self-condemn, you know? They think that if I take that money, oh my God, I am done as a person. I'm such an embarrassment. Why I have to rely on this? Because I'm not good, you know, I know it's my, it's my fault and I, I cannot take the support because I know I'm not good, that kind of thing, you know. The funny thing is, they know they're not good, but they don't take action to change their life. Maybe they don't know how to change life, I guess, but I don't know. Anyway, they're not easy to take the support. So they try to manage um, their life by, by themselves and then some people stuck yeah. or make it worse. So, it's very, it's very unique culture, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's it. What do you think, Gassi? <laughs> you know, I talk about 15 minutes already. Let me know about your country, how you think about this. And by the way, when I talk about this kind of things, some people start saying, like, see, this is Japan. You know, I hate Japan, that's why. Blah, blah, blah. You can say whatever you want. But, you know, it uh, depends on the culture. Always, there is a good aspect, a bad aspect. You know what I mean? Seriously, look at your country. Seriously, whatever you're proud of, there's always shy and a, not like a, there's always like dark side of that too. If you're shining somewhere, some parts always a dark side, you know, ching and yang, right? So uh, seriously, I mean, think objectively, please. I mean, when you comment, that's it. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you like it, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.